Well, it is another beautiful rainy day here in southern Illinois. So, uh, a little too rainy. It's it's a little raining a little light right now. It's look, rained pretty heavy today. Uh, not going to be able to get anything done out in our garden or uh, trying to work on the pasture area. So today, we've decided to come and work on the barn project again. So, this is our bank barn, and it has a lower level down here with some animal stalls in it. And today we're going to be trying to build a chicken coop in this lower level. That way we have all of our animals in the same spot. So that's what we'll be doing today. See if we can build a chicken coop in this old barn. Hey, hey, mister. <laughs> so earlier in this, uh, working on this barn, we built this goat stall back here. And now my wife's got some goats. So they're going to be in here with us today as we're building this chicken coop. That ought to make it pretty interesting, maybe. So on this side over here, we've got a blank side over here. This is where the chicken coop is going to be. We've already got a pile of lumber over there. We're using green treated lumber. So right across from the goat stall on this other side of the barn here, this is where we're going to build the chicken coop. So we're going to build it from this post right here all the way to that wall there. So that'll make it probably, it's going to be pretty close to like 14 feet long. It's going to be somewhere close to 10 feet wide. And uh, so basically all we got to do is we're just going to build uh, some walls to go in between these posts and uh, that'll hold the wire that we're going to use for fencing for the chicken coop we're going to be using a half inch hardware cloth so half inch hardware cloth is a lot stronger than chicken wire uh, it'll help keep uh, animals from tearing through it because chicken wire really only keeps in chickens it really doesn't keep out predators so we're going to be using a half inch hardware cloth on the walls and th since we do have livestock in here we will be bracing uh, it more here at the bottom uh, in case the animals push against it, we don't want them to tear that wire up as well. So we will probably have a little bit more bracing at the bottom just to uh, help it withstand any of the livestock in here. So on a previous video, I had a lot of comments about me putting these posts in here and having them directly on the concrete. These are treated posts. The idea is that they should be able to withstand the moisture in the concrete and uh, not rot. But I had that comment several times that I should put a, some type of membrane between the posts and the concrete. So today in the material that we bought for this project, we did buy some tar paper. So we're just going to use tar paper to put under these posts and we're going to use tar paper to put under the walls when we build the chicken coop today. So we'll go ahead, get started, see if we can get this chicken coop finished in a day, at least most of it. Let's see how far we get. So we got this first uh, end wall done here, pretty much the structure built. And the goats don't like the impact gun at all and the noise of the power tools. So they normally um, actually 
uh, run away and kind of hide in their stall uh, when we get working. So they haven't had too much issues with the goats coming over and wanting to mess with us or climb on us or chew on our pants while we're building it. So uh, they definitely don't like the power tools very much. So anyway, the way this is built is we got hardware cloth uh, wire that we're gonna put on here. It's four foot wide. So basically we'll have a four foot roll from the middle down that'll go across and staple on and from this middle one uh, up to the top and go across and then that'll cage wire. Basically it'll be cage wire that'll uh, and completely enclose this so no animals or anything can get in with the chickens. So we've got the walls here for the chicken coop. We got them built and uh, we don't have them anchored to the concrete yet. We, uh, we're gonna come back, we're gonna have to bring a generator out here for power. There's no electricity yet. So we'll, uh, we'll, we'll end up bringing a generator out here just to be able to drill the holes in the concrete to anchor these walls. But we will do that before it's over with. So the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna build our door for the chicken coop. So right in this opening here, this is gonna be where we build our door. And this will be for us to go in and out of the chicken coop to be able to clean it. And we're going to make it a, um, it's going to be a two part door. So you got an upper and lower part that opens separately. I think they call that a Dutch door. And uh, that'll allow us to open the upper half and just be able to let the, uh, you know, throw food scraps to the chickens without, you know, being able to let them out. Uh, on this side of the door, we're planning on putting a, a door just for the chickens to become in and out. It'll probably be about a, eight by 10 inch door. It'll be a pretty small door. I'm not sure if it'll be small enough that the baby goats can't get in and out. We'll just have to wait and see, but I think the goats will still be able to get in there. Uh, but as they get bigger, they won't be able to. Uh, on this side over here, we're gonna put our nest boxes. So we'll build our nest boxes on this side. I think right now we're gonna planning to have about five nest boxes. And uh, that's kind of the plan for this side of the chicken coop. So we're gonna go ahead and continue on, start building our doors. Is that a bed? Yeah, that's where he lays. So to build this door, I think the easiest way for me to build a quick door is to use these mending plates. So these mending plates are what you see when you buy like uh, trusses for like a pole barn. These mending plates are what they use to hold all the boards together, to kind of uh, nail the boards together. Um, and, what I, and they're really actually kind of really hard to hammer on here, so they got to work at it. But once you nail these on here, man, this thing is rigid. So um, I'm just gonna put uh, four mending plates on the corner. So I'm gonna turn it over and put four more on there. And then this door will be about as solid as I can ask for just by using these little nail plates. So we'll just do this other side and it'll tighten right up. So that last one was a little tough because there was a knot right where I wanted it to be. But uh, the bigger you get these, the harder they are to put on. These are only two by four inches. And these are about the right size for this. Well, now this is built. This thing, this thing is solid. It's a good door. Easy.
do it for you again. I don't think it looks terrible. I'm going to get back beginning to the chicken coop. Yeah, that's all we need now is all these goats <laughs> begging for treats as we're trying to build the. Are you getting them? 